Kitamra Tashiv YouTube um, or Kamara Hashiv or Shumai, dependent on your uh, particular flavour. Um, I haven't made a video for a while and that's been because, to be honest, I've not had much to talk about. I've been quite busy having a life. Um, but I decided that I wanted to make a video again because I wanted to talk about the Celtic languages. Um, in the last couple of months, I've been to Samarosteg in Skye uh, and Tilly in Skianach, and I've also been to Idja Scale in Donegal, Dunanal. Um, I really, really loved both of those trips. Um, both of them I was learning the languages. Idja Scale, I spent a week there um, learning at the, uh, the little college um, in Glen Column Keel, um, and I fell in love with the place, and to be honest, I'd move there tomorrow if I had the money, but I don't. Um, sky, also absolutely beautiful. Samarosteg, set in the most gorgeous scenery in the world. Um, Scottish Highlands, you know, beautiful sea view, more than you could ask for, really. Um, nice people, you know, both colleges, helpful, good teachers, a um, lot of crack. Um, I have to say, the the distance to the nearest pub at Salmarostek put me off slightly, which is, I think, why Ireland is probably more the place for me. But anyway, um, what I've been doing, uh, for example, is, we see here, um, things like these. Now, gel of um, picture, photo, chevada, or chevada, uh towel, things like these stuck around my house. Um, because obviously I'm learning, you know, very, very many, many new words. Um, I've only got them in Gaelic at the moment. I'm hoping to get them in Irish as well. Um, and also, as I've recently started learning Welsh, um, Welsh also. Um, now, my friends think I'm a glutton for punishment. Um, they don't know that I'm actually planning to have a look at Manx and Cornish next, or they really would think I was insane. Um, I've got an interest. I've developed an interest. It started through the Gaelic and the Irish, and I just thought, why not make it a set? Why not make it, you know, quadruplet and quintuplet? Why not? Um, now, I've also been learning through uh, things like this. This is the EuroTalk Interactive Learn Irish CD-ROM. Um, it's quite good, I have to say. Um, mainly, it's good for people who have got a computer, obviously. Um, also, just reading around the subject, I mean, I bought this book, The Gaelic of the World. Now, if I needed to know the Gaelic names for palm reading and second sight and uh, various fairies, I could probably learn them without this book, but it's so much fun. There are charms in there and spells and all kinds of things and really interesting stuff. Um, you know, obviously, at some point, given the size of the book, I might actually get a chance to read it all instead of just dipping into it. Um, but, you know, what can you do? Um, at the moment, I've started a course with the University of Lampeter, um, which is their distance learning Welsh course, um, first 40 credits of which are online, and I believe they're actually free if you register with them. You can do the first 40 credits, which are two modules, of the Welsh language for free. Why not? Do it if you can. Um, and I'm also planning, hopefully, when I've got money, to travel to Lampeter to do a little bit of a residential course. Um, I am finding, I don't know if any of you who are learning maybe Welsh and Irish, or maybe have Welsh or have it, you know, um, I'm finding Welsh harder than I found Irish. Um, whether that's because I'm just misremembering, you know, like a woman who's had babies, forgets what it's like to give birth, um, you know, through the joy of the children. Um, I've had so much fun with Irish over the last year or so and spent so much time socialising and meeting new people that, you know, it, it, looking back, it, I, I forget maybe that it was harder to, you know, quite hard to get into to learning various things. Um, but looking at Welsh now, almost afresh, um, I may be new Borda, Nusta, that kind of thing. Um, it's, there's the odd similarity to Irish. I can see certain places where words might, you know, be similar, but obviously, you know, they're not mutually intelligible. So it's a new language. Um, and it's just scary looking at this language and thinking, how am I going to understand this, let alone be fluent in it, which is obviously, you know, a hope. Um, I'm going to put some links in the um, comments bit, you know, um, basically with websites that have been useful for me. Um, 
because there are people out there that are learning more than one language and not just necessarily Irish and Gaelic because they're related or Welsh and Cornish say and um, there are people that are mixing them up like uh, Lexi Celt and Omniglot and things like that so I'm going to put some links in there and you can use them um, I I don't know what I mean it's, it's been a year since I started learning Irish um, I'd say a couple of years since I started learning Gaelic however that's a couple of years where about a year of that I didn't actually do much towards it at all and I've just signed up for Ancusha Intrigue with Sam Rostig again, which is their distance learning course. Um, I'm lucky in that I have an Irish class in my town, so that's fine. Um, now, you know, if you're just starting out on the road, you know, as much as I'm saying, well, she's really hard, I'm finding it really hard, um, I've been doing it for about two weeks, so don't listen to me. Um, people who say Irish, Gaelic, really, really hard. I don't necessarily think that they're easy, but they're no la learning no new language is easy. And, but I do believe that if I was put in a situation where I could speak Irish all the time and, you know, an immersion situation, that after a certain period of time I would become basically conversational. It's no harder than any other language. It just takes you wanting to do it, I suppose. Um, well, you know, that's what I've been doing mainly. Um, I've been doing lots of other things as well to do with music and to do with um, jobs and all that kind of stuff. But obviously that's not really for here. Um, it's, been, it's been great. It's been good. And um, I've ordered lots more books off Amazon that I can't really afford because, you know, for some reason I'm kind of a materialist when it comes to actually learning things. I tend to have this feeling that if I have a stack of books in front of me, I'm more likely to be able to learn the language. That's not necessarily true, is it? You actually have to revise. If I just sat there with one dictionary and actually looked through it, I'd probably learn more than just having a stack of books that I never looked at. Um, but I've put all the tunes on my MP3 player, all the different uh, language learning CDs that I've bought and um, modules from Summer of Steg and various things because, you know, if I'm walking around town and I have them on my MP3 player all of the time, then I'm going to learn, aren't I? You know, I'm more likely to learn like with them there than I am um, if I just, you know, read the book. Um, and a, a set that I found very, very good, uh, unfortunately I don't have it with me because I've lent it to a friend, is the Teach Yourself Irish Conversation Pack. It's not the pack with the book that they tend to sell everywhere. It's a uh, three CD pack that is made by the Teach Yourself Irish people, but, well, made by the Teach Yourself people, but it doesn't have a book with it. But the great thing about it is that they've got all the actors or whoever that they've got on there, maybe four or five different people, are almost all from different dialect groups. They've almost all got different blasts. And, you know, it's, it's basically, you know, you'll have someone from Kerry talking to someone from Donegal, someone from Belfast talking to somebody from Connemara. And the difference between, you know, someone saying Martin Va and someone saying Majin Wai, um, you know, you can hear that you can hear that in, a, in one conversation rather than having them doing the Kajin of, of figure, or the official standard, I can't pronounce it. But um, rather than having the, you know, just the whole tape in that, you're listening to all the different dialects on one, well, three CDs. Um, you're listening to them having conversations with each other. And you see in within three seconds the different ways, maybe two or three different ways of pronouncing the same thing. Having done a little bit of Gaelic, I have to admit, I haven't found the dialects very difficult because, you know, Scots Gaelic being a different language but being very related ha a lot of the strange things that you might find in the dialects that aren't in the tr the official standard um, I have already seen in Gaelic um, it's, it's, it's been a great journey and it's not ended yet because obviously I am um, I can have a very very basic level conversation in Irish I can say oh you know, I'm tired, it's raining, it's wet, um, you know, hi, uh, <laughs> hi, Amadon. Um, but, you know, it's that kind of thing. But, unfortunately, you know, you need a bit more than that if you want to actually be classed as fluent. The scary thing is realising when you've learnt a little bit how much there is to learn. I have a Gaelic map of the world up on my wall and I will also need an Irish map of the world and a Welsh map of the world if I want to know all of those things in those languages. You need to know the colours in every language. You need to know the days of the week, the days of the month. In fact, even just knowing the names for the different languages in the different languages. For example, Kimraig, uh, Britnish, 
I'm not sure what it would be in Gaelic, possibly something similar to Britnish, but then you've got Gaelica, Gaelica Nahalba, Gaelic, Gaelic Nahiran. Um, you know, I'm not quite sure what, um, what Irish and Gaelic are in Welsh yet, but you see, you, you can't even have a conversation about the languages in different languages without changing the words. Um, there is a massive amount to learn. And yet, you know, your brain is a wonderful thing and it will sink in. Um, I've probably rambled on for long enough now, but hey, you know, I haven't posted for a while. So there we go. Uh, Slango foil, um, martial art, uh, hul hul. <laughs> See ya.